Let's start by looking at some numbers that are divisible by 11. In the first column we have two digit numbers and for them the first and the second digit are equal. In the second column we have some three digit numbers and for them the second digit is equal to the sum of the first and the third digit. However, that is not the case for all numbers in the third column, because for 209 the second digit is 0, but 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. And in the fourth column we have two such numbers, 308, where the second digit is 0, but 3 plus 8 is equal to 11, and 319, where the second digit is 1, but 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. So, for these three digit numbers, the sum of the first and the third digit is either equal to the second digit, or is equal to the second digit plus 11. Now, here are some four digit numbers that are divisible by 11, and for them we'll look at the sum of the first and the third digit, and the sum of the second and the fourth digit. So the sum of digits at odd places and the sum of digits at even places. And in particular for 1254 we get that 1 plus 5 is equal to 6 and 2 plus 4 is also equal to 6. And if we compare those sums for other four digit numbers that are divisible by 11, we get that in some cases they are equal, and in some cases they differ by 11. Here are some five digit numbers that are divisible by 11. For them, we'll also look at the sum of digits at odd places, that is the first plus the third plus the fifth digit, and the sum of digits at even places, that is the second plus the fourth digit. If we compare those sums, we get that they can be equal, one can be greater than the other by 11, or one can be greater than the other by 22. So in each case, the difference between those two sums is divisible by 11. Now you can try to look at some numbers that aren't divisible by 11, and compare those sums for them, and you'll see that the difference between those sums isn't divisible by 11, if that number initially wasn't divisible by 11. But when a number is divisible by 11, then the difference between those two sums is also divisible by 11, and now we'll see why that is the case. We'll first show that some specific numbers are divisible by 11. Let's start with 11. 11 is divisible by 11. Next, 9 times 11 is also divisible by 11. So, 99 is divisible by 11. The next number is 99 times 10 plus 11, and that is equal to 990 plus 11, and that is equal to 1001. Next is 99 times 100. plus 99, and that is equal to 9,900, plus 99, which is equal to 9,999. Next is 9,999 times 10, plus 11, and that is equal to 99,000 990 plus 11, and that is equal to 100,001. Now, 11 is equal to 10 plus 1. 99 is equal to 100 minus 1. 1001 is equal to 1000 plus 1. 9,999 is equal to 10,000 minus 1, and 100,001 is equal to 100,000 plus 1. And we could continue like this, 
and we'll get that all those numbers are divisible by 11. This number was one of our examples of 5 digit numbers that are divisible by 11. Now we'll see what does that have to do with the sum of digits at odd and at even places. 82,709 is equal to 8 times 10,000 plus 2 times 1,000 plus 7 times 100 plus 0 times 10 plus 9. And now 10,000 is equal to 9,999 plus 1. One thousand is equal to one thousand and one minus one. One hundred is equal to ninety nine plus one. Ten is equal to eleven minus one. And we are left with this nine at the end. This is now equal to 8 times 9999 plus 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 2 times 1001, minus 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 7 times 99, plus 7 times 1, which is 7, plus 0 times 11, minus 0 times 1, which is 0, and plus 9. But we showed that these numbers are divisible by 11, and we get So we group together those terms that are divisible by 11. But this part that we are left with is equal to 8 plus 7 plus 9 minus 2 plus 0. But this is the sum of digits of our initial number that are at odd places, and this is the sum of digits that are at even places. So in order for initial number to be divisible by 11, this part here must also be divisible by 11, because this is already divisible by 11. And if this isn't divisible by 11, then the initial number also won't be divisible by 11. However, in this case, this is equal to 22, which is divisible by 11, so this number is also divisible by 11. And we can represent any natural number this way, so we can say that a number is divisible by 11, if the difference between the sum of digits at odd places and the sum of digits at even places is divisible by 11. With that in mind, I leave you with this question. What is the largest natural number divisible by 11 that has all different digits? That is all for this video, if you liked it click the like button it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time!